Hello, I'm Matt Guff from House.com, and this is a Burton Day Trader snowboard for 2017. This is a POW deck designed for intermediate to advanced level riders. I say that because most people that ride POW are past like the beginner ability level. Uh, the Day Trader is a great deck. You can still rip groomers on to get to those deep powder spots and into those trees. There's a directional shaped board that stands a set back. There's a slight taper of 12 millimeters on the tail, meaning that the nose is just a little bit wider and has a little bit more scoop to it. There's a really fun profile shape to the day trainer. It's called a directional flat top. Basically underneath that front foot, all the way to that tail contact point, the board's gonna have a flat profile. A stable without being overly aggressive or overly surfy. And then from underneath the front portion or the lateral side of underneath where your front foot rests to the contact point, the board is going to have a gradual rocker rise. And that's good um, because when you're riding pile, uh, you definitely want your nose to stay afloat. A cool thing about it is like when you ride this thing switch on groomers, it's going to feel a little bit loose because of that little bit of a rocker, but it still stay pretty stable if you keep most of your weight on your switch front foot. Um, overall though, uh, the flex rating of the day trainer is going to be right in the middle, right around a five or so. Um, but because of that rocker style, your nose may feel just a little bit softer when you're ripping on groomers. Now inside of this thing is what kind of makes uh, the magic happen. It's a super fly two dual zone EGD wood core, meaning that there's lots of different wood laminates inside. But the special part about the Superfly 2 core is that it's been milled to perfection. Um, it has squeeze box technology, meaning that on the lateral and medial sides where your bindings rest, the board's gonna be a little bit thicker for an easier energy transfer from your board or from your body directly to the board and then to the snow. So in between your feet and then on the nose and tail, the core is gonna be a little bit thinner, a little bit softer, but that doesn't mean it's gonna be overly soft because the day trader features Tri-X fiberglass both on the bottom and on top of that wood core. Tri-X glass running at 45 and negative 45 degrees and at 90 degrees, allowing for the board to have a little bit more lively energy than what is most common in boards with a bi-X fiberglass. The base, uh, this is actually recycled material. The pictures. Uh, taken by a guy named Plato and it has coordinates of where the location of the actual picture was taken. So you can go there and look at this. Um, this is a yeah, recycled centered WFO base. It absorbs lots of wax. It's been factory waxed by, by Burton. But every once in a while, give this thing a little a nice coating of wax, scrape it off, keep it well moisturized so it stays faster for longer. And then there's that, lastly, is that standard 360 wrap steel edge. I like the shape of the day trader. Um, has a kind of a little bit more of a pointy, pointy style nose and tail. Pretty subtle top sheet graphic. Awesome shot by Blotto on the bottom. Um, if you like ripping powder and like getting to rip powder, like taking the process of riding from the top of the lift, cutting through some stuff and then finding some secret spots, this is gonna be an awesome deck. This is the Day Trader from Burton for 2017. And you can check it out at thehouse.com. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment or a question below. Yeah.